actually waiting for um like a three two one you are live so anybody who's just like literally caught the first three seconds of um of this video i apologize for the fact that i seem to be completely vacant because i was um, um okay i really love the fact that i can do this on my desktop ah maybe that's it when you're doing it on the mobile it does go three two one you're live um please say hello so i know who it is who's watching um and i've got my cup of tea and i've got like 25 minutes before i hop on a client call um, um because i am working don't usually work on fridays but i am choosing to do a half day today hey karen i'm choosing to do a half day today because um jerome's parents are still here and because i took the day off on monday um uh, i am kind of just doing a little bit of catch up and um i just want to get into coming on live more frequently again and um, um sharing with you what is going on hey gorgeous leah um because i feel like the retreat was a really interesting experience for me professionally. Ah, oh, hey Nicola. I'm feeling summery. I know I, I kind of want um, a filter so I can have a flower in my hair or something. Um, um, it was a really interesting experience for me and I think what came up was everything that I've been saying. So my mentor, Nikki Elledge Brown, she talks about divine breadcrumbs and following the breadcrumbs. And I feel like I've been doing this, well, certainly for the last, well, over the last year, but specifically, I think just before Christmas, I had a huge download around monetizing your message and not really wanting to talk about copywriting, but really understanding that the message or the magic is in the message. So really coming up to the table and talking to people really deeply about why you give a shit about them. And when you do that, kind of all of the other strategic stuff can really be secondary and actually just talking frequently and regularly about why you care and how you understand the position that somebody's in and the type of transformation that you can um, um, facilitate if they work with you. And this came through really, really strongly to me in um, um, Monetize Your Message. And I worked with the lovely Nicola um, on kind of putting together um, um, this package. And then what happens, which I think happens in loads of people's business businesses, and I'm really happy to be able to share this with you. Hey, Amy. Hey, Ashlyn. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Susan. Um, is that it's really easy to go down the perceived easier route. So this is what people are asking me for. And this is what people want. And I'm kind of good at this. And so therefore, I'm going to kind of channel my energies into that and you forget about the big why and you forget about the core message or you kind of filter it you know so you kind of water it down a little bit so that you stay within the realms of acceptability and i see this so 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 much with um all of my colleagues or many or many of my colleagues in the birth world filtering what they actually want to say so they can be more acceptable, be more mainstream, be more comparable to their competitors. And what I want to say to you is that what this weekend showed me is that where my true, true, true zone of genius lies is in helping people understand what is blocking them. Understand where they are putting on their own limitations. And I think that I do this particularly well in um, a face-to-face -face environment. And when you can understand the things that are blocking you, it frees you up to really own your biggest, deepest dreams and desires. And then once you've really owned your deepest dreams and desires, 
being able to talk to people about why those things are so important is where we really need to, again, release the filter, you know. And then once we start talking really powerfully from the heart, so we talk too much from the head, you know, we think about it, we overthink, we overanalyze, we try to logicize <laughs> a new word. Um, you know, we logic ourselves into tiny little packages. And what I want to be sharing with you ladies is, when I say it's mindset and then marketing, I can't say, I, I need to say it louder. I was gonna say I can't say it anymore. I have to say it more, I have to say it louder. And you know, you absolutely know where you are holding yourself back for fear that nobody's gonna to wanna to buy or for fear that nobody's gonna like you or for fear that you know, you're gonna get it all wrong. And it's those bits that we need to either unpick or just help you release so that you can just get down to your truth and then talk your truth in an unfiltered way. And by you choosing to present yourself without a filter, you naturally, this is the, this is the meta-ness of it or the beauty of it, is that you naturally filter out people who aren't supposed to be with you and you naturally magnetise the people that are supposed to be with you. And the beautiful thing about the people that are supposed to be with you, like the amazing women who have all shared about their experience at the weekend, is that they get it so, so deeply that their shifts are so profound that they are talking about their experience with you everywhere. And it just makes life so much better. You know, personally, it's not, and I think this is the other thing that came through for me at the weekends, like, Yes, of course, it's my business and I want my business to be hugely successful. And I want to work with millions of people all over the world. Um, but what this comes down to is just enjoying my life, like enjoying being at work, enjoying um, being in the company of amazing people who are ready to take the next step and then enjoying seeing them pop and fizz with ideas and realizations and confidence and then seeing that then translate into the business so then we can do the business work and the beautiful thing about the business work is rather than fucking over complicating it with everything it's like helping people see the simplest path to getting the results that they want whilst talking and living in alignment so that business feels like life and life feels fucking amazing. Like, does that make sense? And this, you can apply this to whatever field you're working in. It is not just talking about coaching. It's not, you know, it, you can absolutely apply this to your work in the birth world. You can absolutely apply this to being an accountant, you know, talking to people about why their numbers you know, and understanding their numbers is so important and can be freeing and liberating. You know, God almighty, you know, I mean, I'm quite happy with my accountants. I found them, they were recommended to me. But if before I'd found these people, I had heard an accountant looking um, like a human being, so not kind of, and, and I don't mean this disrespectfully, but just looking like a really real person, not feeling the need to be ultra sensible and ultra kind of straight, and then talking to me passionately about why I should really understand what being on the 20% flat rate for the AT scheme means, you know, with a bit of passion, talking to me about how liberating that would be for me to just not only have somebody who can look after it for me, but really explain it to me, how transformation that transformational that would be oh my god I would have bought from them in a second do you know what I mean and obviously that's me everybody the beauty of it is is that everybody needs something different everybody needs somebody different so it's not that that one person needs to try and be like that to attract everybody but it's zoning in on the people that really need to hear your message in the way that you do, you deliver it without the filters that's what monetizing your message is about that's what 
talking to people from the heart to the heart is. And it's not about the process. It's not about the the process, process and the strategy come after, but talking to people about how they want to feel and the transformation that you can create, that's what, that's what it's about. That's what people, you can't help but be infused and get passionate with somebody when they're talking to you in that unfiltered way. So I really, really, my mission for you today is to, if you're working, look to see how you can be a little bit more honest in your conversation. Look to see where you can be a little more truthful. If you're not working today, and today is a family day, and you are with yourself, firstly, look to see how you can love yourself a little bit more. You know, be really, really, I talked to my mastermind group this morning about, it's our last day today, <laughs> so, um, I talked to them about radical acceptance and radical love. And I think that, again, going back to the retreat, what people were experiencing was a taster of what it feels like to radically accept yourself and your truth. So if you are feeling anything but fucking amazing right now, look within, get a little bit quiet, look within and see where am I not accepting myself right now? Where can I accept myself a little bit more? Where can I show myself a little bit more love? Because when you do that, it makes it easier. Well, when you do that, what you're actually doing is just clearing some of the negative energy that you're holding on to. And when we clear the negative energy that we're holding on to, we create a clearer channel between source, the universe, whatever, to allow in the ideas, the inspiration, the creativity, to allow in more abundance, to allow in more love, to allow in all of all of the good stuff. It starts with radical acceptance, radical self-love and letting go of some of the baggage. And if you are already very clear on morning, lovely lady, um, if you are already very clear on where it is that you're not loving yourself or accepting yourself, um, um, create an affirmation that helps you lean into where you want to be. So every day I'm loving myself a little bit more around this or every day I'm accepting myself a little bit more around whatever it is, you know, every day I get closer and closer to fully embracing whatever it is um sorry i'm getting something pop up on my screen there we go um, um start there because absolutely the more our business is so often a reflection of what is going on internally our business is a complete reflection of where we are limiting ourselves personally so the more that we can just open ourselves up on a personal level um, to that love, acceptance, the more, as I say, the more space we create for inspiration, creativity and abundance in our businesses. So that is my unfiltered message for you today. And I invite you to just watch this space because there's going to be a load more of this good stuff coming your way. Um, uh, I have two, a maximum of two spaces left on the next group coaching, which was due to start on the 17th of April, but I think that's um, um, Easter Monday. So maybe we're gonna have to move um, a week later. If you are ready to go deep and talk from the heart, really craft your message. And I say craft, but that's not true, but allow the message to come through in a really unfiltered way and have somebody holding your hand to help you take those steps so that you can communicate it in an incredibly powerful way. Um, I'm, I'm working with a maximum of six people over the next five months to create really, really magical, inspiring um, lives and businesses. So if you're interested, 
um, drop me a line at hey at Susie Asheros or message me on here and I'll tell you how you can apply. Um, Georgie, I'm just going to read your comment. Honesty, this is my strong point. I had some Reiki on Wednesday. Be gone, negative energy. I'm off to see and meet a beautiful, amazing new venue today. Hello, Brighton. Let's be having you. I can feel the vibe, Georgie. Really, really lovely. Thank you for sharing. Right, I'm popping off now. Mwah. Love you all, ladies. Have amazing Fridays. And just thank you for, thank you for hopping on and being around. I really appreciate you.